we find that we don't have one of the equations solved for x equals or y equals. So what I'm going to do in this equation is choose either x or y. I'm going to choose x and move the y to the other side and write that as x equals negative y after we subtract y on each side, negative y plus 1. Then that second equation, that first equation can be substituted into the second equation. That gives us 2 times what we're substituting in, minus y equals negative 2. And I'm going to do this in a second color, as I have been doing, to emphasize what is actually getting substituted in. So we've got the first equation substituted into the second, and now we're going to do the distribution just as before. We're going to get negative 2y plus 2 minus y equals negative 2. We combine like terms on the left side of this equation. The negative 2y and the minus y can combine together, giving us minus 3y plus 2 equals negative 2. We're going to subtract 2 on each side then. That gives us negative 3y equals negative 4. And yes, you might see it, we're going to get a fraction. After we divide through by this negative 3, we get y equals 4 thirds, which makes many of us want to cringe, but that shouldn't bug us too much. I'm going to zoom out just a smidgen here so you can see the line up there at the top. When I substitute that 4 thirds in, it says x is negative y. Well, that means x will become negative 4 thirds plus 1. And as you know, when we add with fractions, we need a common denominator. So we're going to have negative 4 thirds plus 3 thirds. And therefore, x is going to equal negative 1 third. And the solution to our system is negative 1 third comma 4 thirds. Maybe not what we want to see, but yes, it is the solution. OK, another one here. Let's see what we got this time. We've got a decimal involved, but we're not going to let that bug us, because right off the bat, we see y equals. And that y equals tells us we're going to use the substitution method, substituting that first equation into the second. So our second equation is going to become negative 3x plus 4 times what we're substituting in equals negative 12. And we're substituting in that top line there, 0.75x minus 3. Don't let that decimal bug you, because it's going to disappear in just a second once we distribute our 4. We're going to have negative 3x plus, now, 0.75 really is 3 fourths. And when you multiply 3 fourths times that 4, the 4s cancel and you just have 3. So 3x minus 12 equals negative 12. And if you're one step ahead of me, you're noticing, uh-oh, our x's cancel out. And we end up with negative 12 equals negative 12. When we get a true statement such as this, we have an identity. And any time we have an identity with a system of equations, that basically tells us the two original equations are the same. And we're going to have infinite number of solutions. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> have this been a false statement, <coughs> such as 8 equals negative 12, then we would have had no solution at all to that system. So true statement, infinite number of solutions, false statement or a contradiction, no solution at all.